Okay, now we're just going to do a couple of very simple problems involving current. So here's our circuit once again, and we've put our little turnstile in. There it is there, and we call that turnstile an ammeter. And that's probably not a bad analogy. Whenever you have to measure current in a circuit, think of it like a little turnstile in the sense it has to be in the circuit uh, so it can count the electrons as they pass through. So there's our ammeter. And let's say we've turned on our, our battery, we've connected our circuit, and we measure a current of, let's say it has a reading of 3.7 amps. A question we might ask would be, how many electrons have flown through that ammeter in 10 seconds. So, uh, one question we could ask, how many electrons flow through the ammeter in 10 seconds? Make it 10 seconds, make it easy. Okay, so we know that the current relationship or the formula is current equals charge over time, the amount of charge that flows divided by the time. Now we're going to now replace these with symbols. So the symbol for current is I, the symbol for charge is Q, and the symbol for time is T. So there's our little formula, current equals charge divided by time. And of course, current is measured in amps. And so just make sure we're clear on these units. Current will be measured in amps, charge is measured in coulombs, and time is measured in seconds. So we want to work out how many electrons. Well, in order to do that, we need to work out how much charge has flown through the circuit. So we need to rearrange our formula so that Q is the subject. So let's go ahead and do that. So Q equals I times T. So it's going to be the current of 3.7 amps multiplied by the time over which we've been measuring that current, which was 10 seconds. And so that totals a charge, or equals a charge of 37 coulombs. So that's the amount of charge in coulombs that has flowed through that ammeter. But we actually want to work out how many electrons that mean, or equal. Well, we know that one coulomb of charge, one coulomb equals 6.24 times 10 to the 18 electrons, two, two coulombs would be twice that amount, and so on. So to work out the number of coulombs, sorry, to work out the number of electrons, number of electrons equals the number of, equals the number of coulombs, or the charge, Q, in coulombs multiplied by 6.24 times 10 to the 18. And in this case, it's 37 coulombs of charge multiplied by 6.24 times 10 to the power of 18. And if we work that out, so 37 times 6.24 exponent 18, we get an answer of 2.309, which will round up to 2.31 times 10 to the power of 20. So I'll just write the answer at the top here. 2.31 2 times 10 to the power of 20 electrons flowed through that ammeter in that 10 second time period. And that's a lot of electrons. When you think about it, 
It's 2.31 with that decimal point jumping across 20 spaces. So imagine 20 jumps across here. That's a lot of zeros we're going to put in. So it's a huge number of electrons. Okay, thanks.